Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm taking a look at Antics Linux version 19 which is a lightweight Linux distribution built on top of Debian. So we've just got the installer up here, we're booted off a live USB and um, we're just going to do a straight auto install using the entire disk there. Let's click next. OK to format and use the entire disk for Antics Linux, yes. Right, that's creating the required partitions. Um, install Grub for Linux and Windows. Um, okay, let's keep going. Um, computer name Antics One, example DOM. I'm not too worried about that for now. Okay, so check your locale. So, United Kingdom, British English, that's right. Configure clock Europe, London, that's right. The time there's not right, but hopefully that's just a demo time. Let's click next. Okay, let's create our user account, default user login name, default user passwords, and also our root passwords. So there's some little checkboxes here to show passwords, auto login, and to save live desktop changes. So any sort of changes we make in this live desktop session, it will carry over to our install, but we're just gonna go for auto login and leave everything else blank. Right, I think that's it for the installation process, so I'm going to let that do that, and then when we reboot, we'll be booting off of the SSD. Okay, it's just booting up now. I've started recording now because I probably have to change my displays because it's going to extend it. Yeah, so I just need to mirror the display so we can, you know, see the same things. So let me just go on to there. I believe it's in Control Center. Um, obviously, you can't see this, but I'll mirror it, and then you can see what's going on. So let's go on to Session set screen resolution and then let's just drag that on top of that one you'll see it in a minute <laughs> there we go so the screens are now mirrored now so it's just sort of a drag that over the top of that so there'll be sort of two layers there and then just bang 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 um, let's just close that and not do anything there so here we are this is your you know your default desktop here you've got a panel at the bottom which you can probably move to the top I think you can do it in a text file or something I've never used Antics Linux much so it's going to be sort of a learning curve um, time's all right, that's perfect. We've got some little graphs here, so that's the CPU load, uh, memory, network, and then the battery. So are we, are we connected to a network then? Did that show us? Yep, so it's remembered that we're connected to the network as well, which I didn't think it would actually, because we didn't do the live, save live changes. Let me just double check if it has saved the network before we keep going. Yeah, it looks like it. So yeah, you've got your antics forum as your homepage on Firefox. So I'm just going to start with what it's got installed with. So you've got a list with sort of categories here. You've got applications here, so it will show you all of your applications with categories here and accessories we have. Leafpad as our text editor, Search Monkey, Midnight Commander, XF Burn. In graphics we have Mirage, uh, MT Paint graphic editor. I've not used that before. <coughs> Sorry, um, screenshot tool, uh, Seni, Dillo, Droopy, Firefox for your web browser, GFTP, Gnome PPP, Links 2, which is a command line web browser, I think, if that's the one I'm thinking of, um, Asla for audio mixer, MPS YouTube, MPV Media Player, SM Tube, Soundcard Chooser, and then in Office you have QPDF View. So I think that's most of the applications out of the way with. Yeah, it looks like it there. So I think it uses for the appearance, maybe LX appearance or XF appearance. Let's just grab customized look and feel. Here we are. So this is how you can customize the look and feel. So at the moment we're using Arc Evo Pro. Let's just install a couple of, oh, we've got no, no shortcut for the terminal. So we'll have to set a shortcut for the terminal in some keyboard shortcuts at some point. Let's just grab it from here now. So let's run an update, see if there's anything to grab. Oh, jump date. Right, let's see if it's found anything. I think what I'm going to do is install Albert, <coughs> Albert, the application launcher, just to make life a bit easier than trolling through all of these things all the time. Right, so it's found some stuff to upgrade. Let's have a look. Um, empty paint, run it. Yeah, we're gonna we'll run that up that upgrade, and then we'll install some applications. Okay, um, so what does a huh? So a two finger on the touchpad does that. That's not really a right click. Ah, okay, that was right. So three fingers will sort of be a right click, I suppose, on a touchpad. Um, 
haven't got a mouse to hand this plugged into my KVM switch okay um, I'm sure a mouse right click will do what you want it to do though I think mean, that's just on the laptop right how's that getting on okay so let's open up our web browser and grab a couple of icons and themes while that's doing that um, applications oh we've got a little quick launch here right there look and we'll also oh, I think I'll press that twice no, and we'll also grab Albert as well while we're here. So let's get Arc Icons, Arc Darkest Theme. Actually, no, we've got the Arc, a, a variant of the Arc Theme already installed, haven't we? So that's okay. So we'll grab that, and then let's just get Albert for Debian. Do 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 do. Let's go over to here. Debian, I'm just going to grab the binary package, I think it's this one, right let's save that, let's download that, save file, okay, so that's done that now, so we can install a few programs that we will need, so what do I want, I need Telegram, I'm not going to install Caden Live. I'm going to grab GIMP. What else do we want from apt? Let's get TMUX. I think that will do for now. We've got that. Do I need anything else? No, we're just going to grab that for now. I'm sure obviously I'm unable to. I log oh, we need Telegram Desktop. My my apologies. Telegram Desktop, GIMP, TMUX. I'm let me just see what their file manager looks like. I, I don't think it's very fully fledged. I'm probably going to install Funar as well. Oh, I can't get that arrow there. Let's just do that. Yeah, um, this is the file manager, so it's called Thumbs. Sort of a single click interface will do that. You can drag. But uh, I'm just going to install Funar. So let's just grab Funar as well. Right, and that should be okay for now. So let's just let that do that. And then we'll see if our downloads from web browser are done yet. I don't think anything's downloading, is it? What's going on here? Let's go to open with, see if that'll open it. I don't know what happened there. Hmm. Okay, so it's open that. That's a bit weird. Okay. So I hope I'll see if they've got the folders already. They do. So let's go into dot icons. And then let's extract them there. So they've got their own rocks already there as well. Let's extract that. So, okay, that's doing that. So what happened to our... Is that gone into download? Should we have a look? I keep forgetting I haven't set the keyboard controls for um, terminal yet, the shortcuts. Let me just do a LS in downloads. Oh, here it is. So let's just go to save file. I'm sure I did that though. Let's have a look. Yeah, so I've already got an Albert, so we're grabbing another one. <laughs> right. Let's just install that quickly. Hmm? No such file. What are you talking about? Oh, we're not in downloads. That's what I'm talking about. Duh. Right, let's do that again. Oh dear, one second. Cool, right, Albert's installed, so let's open up Albert and just set that up quickly as well. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. Let's close that. Okay, let's try and find Albert. I really don't like these sort of menus. Um, accessories, maybe? Nope, I wonder what this run button do. Can we just type Albert in there? Yes, we can. There we go. That's quite handy then. No, we don't want telemetry. Okay. Right. Let's uh, set this up. That work. Oh, look at that shadow. And let me just go to display shadow. No. So it's a bit blocky there. But if you go to a different theme, that will be okay. So if you go to arc dark grey, there you go. That looks a bit better. Right. Let's go to clear on hide. Hide on close as well. Auto start on login. We don't want to try icon. I don't know if that auto start will actually take effect. We might have to add it somewhere. Right, we want it applications, 
files. Uh, we'll do file Fox bookmarks as well. Do a little terminal system, and then grow two files and just sort of make sure it grabs every sort of file you want there to search through. Okay, so now let's just say we wanted to open Firefox. Bang! I don't have to go through any of them things. So um, let's Funar. Same sort of process. So Funar is installed now. So let's see how Funar looks on here. Funar File Manager. There we go. So that will just be a bit easier for me to use than the Thumbs application, but that's just sort of preference. All right, let's close some of this up. Do we have HTOP installed? We do. So at the moment we're using 700 megabytes RAM. I see what we're using and do a sort of a fresh reboot and see how much it's using at reboot. I just want to see what the keyboard shortcuts might be. Okay. So to move desktops, one like left and right, it's Control Alt and the directional keys. I haven't actually looked at what any of the actual keyboard shortcuts are though, so I'll probably have a look at that in a moment. I wonder if there's a... Let's go to the control center, and let's move that to a different... Let's close some of this slot now. Close tabs. Right, so here's the control center. So what can you do here? You can choose your wallpaper. Let's see what wallpapers it comes with. Um, Options, do, 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 do. open image, okay, so you just sort of open an image there. Um, set font, DPI, edit, ice, Windows manager settings, so you can edit some stuff in here. There are some other things for the toolbar and stuff, little um, text files. Customize look and feel, we've had a look at that. Preferred applications, edit system conkey. I don't think I'm displaying the conkey at the moment. Let me just click that little toggle. There's a toggle somewhere to show, here it is, conkey on, conkey off. No, let's try it again. I think because I had to change the mirroring of the displays when it's extended, it shows it on that monitor, but then when you go to mirror, it just sort of disappears. There you go, so it's back. Okay, let's see what it says in system. Manage packages, so what does that do? So it's like a little command line package manager there to manage your packages. So let's go to view a list of suggested command line packages. Viewer, let's see what their list of suggested are. Uh, let's view their five star packages. MPS YouTube, Mock, MC, HTOP, huh, interesting. Um, I don't really need to install any of that, so let's just close that for now. Package installer, is that sort of another command line note? So you've got a, a GUI here now, so desktop environments. You can install other desktop environments, quite handy actually. Media converters, yeah, not too bad that. And you've got a search there, so let's say if you wanted to search for Caden Live. There you go, Caden Live's right there. That's pretty cool, don't mind that. Let's keep it moving. Um, so you can do your network stuff here and a few other things, ad blocker there, um, set up your network shares here, you've got Droopy file sharing, I've not used Droopy, um, change key map for session, change slim background, set resolution, we've had a look at that, set grub boot image, that's pretty good, you can change it all there, set auto login, um, you can manage your disks here, you can make a live USB image, uh, live USB maker, image and the partition, synchronized directories. Um, you can manage some of your hardware here, like your mouse configuration, backlight and audio. Install additional drivers through here, and then run some maintenance here as well. So I'm just going to do a quick reboot now and check out what sort of RAM we're using, and then perhaps install a few more applications, because I'm going to... In <clears throat> Because I've not used this much before, I'm going to use it for a few days to get a real feel of it and sort of, I'll do a video as well, like a follow-up video of sort of a final impressions if you like. So this is the first impressions and then I'll give you what I actually think. So I'm going to do a reboot now and we'll see what RAM we're using, but I'm going to assume it's going to be very low. We're already on sort of 300 now after closing a few applications. So let's just stop that one there. Right, it should just come on now. Um, it's not saved the layout of what we had the desktops, but I can see Conky there on my OBS preview let me just see what that is on the other screen one second right so we're using 160 megabytes ram um it, i'm only saying it now because it's going to change as soon as i open up things to move the monitors back to where it was but yeah 160 megabytes at boot that's very impressive actually <laughs> right so let's go into control center what i'll do is i'll drag it over to you can see what i'm actually doing here so for some reason it didn't save it it's probably something that i've not there's probably like a you know save after reboot or something that I've not clicked. So let's have a look. I've opened two. Let's just close one. It's quite hard to see what I'm doing, so I'm looking at like a monitor over there. All right, okay. All right, let's drag that one on top of that one. Oh, get on there. All right, and then we're just going to click this one. Bang. Our wallpaper's disappeared though. Why has that happened? 
So yeah, when you do um, the two finger click on a laptop as well, you get a Windows list. So if I wanted to sort of, if I had a load of Windows open, I could go there and it has sort of your workspaces there as well. Right, let's see what's happened to our wallpaper. I'll tell you what, let's just grab a, an image for our wallpaper very quickly. Um, just go to minimal walls quickly. Oh, spelled that wrong. Minimal double L, savage. Is there anything nice lately? That's quite nice. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Save image as, and we'll just pop it in pictures. Save. Right, I saw in the control center there was a way to do your wallpaper there, so let's do it there. Control center, choose a wallpaper. So go to select picture. And then we went to Home Folder, Pictures, and there it is. Click Apply. There we go. Um, uh, that's okay. I'll probably change that wallpaper, but that's okay for now. Right, I'm going to install a few more packages, and then we're going to wrap the video up there. But so far, so good. Quite impressive. As I say, I'll come back in a few days with sort of my final thoughts on it, though. So let's just grab a few more packages, and then we are done. Did we grab GIMP? I think we did. Uh, so our um, Albert hasn't stayed from auto from boot as well. Let's just do that. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll set it up like that, and then I'll grab my packages and everything else off of the video. We'll sort of have a look when I do another one. So we want to see how we do programs that, there we go, choose startup services. So ask for a password. What's this one do? Is this just services though? You got brightness, GDM, sudo. Yeah, I don't think that's what we're looking for, is it? Let's just see what's on here anyway though. Sudo. Okay. X11 common. No, I don't think that's what we want. So, what would we do for that then? Let's go to session perhaps. Right. Oh, oh login. Use a desktop session maybe. Right, what we got here? Puts common monitor icon and da 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 da. da. Set grub. Use a desktop. Let's go to auto login. What's on here? Enter a username. No, we don't want to do that. Where would it be? Alternatives configurator. Edit config files. Virtual box. Okay, this is at the point where Google is my friend. Um, auto start programs antics iswm program at start. What's this then? If you would like to run uh, da, 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 then session, no, thank you, Dave. Okay, cool. I'll sort all of that out and then we'll come back and we'll have a look at it after my few days. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and I will be back in a couple of days with sort of my final impressions of Antics 19. Bye bye.